Red Bank. Time is flying by. It's already the second quarter of the school year, and the very first report cards come out today. For some of you, that may not be good news. But we can promise you some good news on today's show. It seems like every time you turn on the TV, all you see is bad news. But today, we're starting a brand new feature with nothing but good news. And that's just one of the stories you'll see on today's edition of the main news. RBHS is starting up a brand new sports team, and you don't even have to be a good athlete. The story is coming up next. The volleyball team took on Signal Mountain for the district title. We've got your highlights coming up in sports. And our own Natalie Phillips shows us some really cool places to shop where the prices are cheap. Don't miss this video coming up a little later in the show. And in sports, the football team is back in action tonight after their second quarantine of the season. I'll have the details coming up in sports. And we've got some rain coming in this weekend. Will it affect Friday night football? The complete weather forecast is coming up a little later in the show. It's Friday, October 23rd, and you're watching the main news. a thousand times since elementary school. Our Rosa Zarco talked to students about what they'd like to do for a career, but she also met with teachers to see if they chose the right career. If you could go back in time, would you change your career or not, and why? I would not. Um, this was my second choice of a career. Um, and I'm happy that I had to make a change. Um, I really enjoy working with kids and building those relationships, so I'm really happy with the choice I made. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'm here with Melanie. Okay, what career are you looking for after high school and why? Okay, after high school, I will be attending UTC and I will be getting, trying to get a major in interior architecture and architectural engineer because interior architecture is like the inside of architecture which really inspires me to like do a design of the inside of a house and then architectural engineer is like the plans for an actual house so okay i'm here with miss worley okay if you could go back in time would you change your career or not and why no i would not change my career i have wanted to be a teacher since i was in fourth grade and i feel like that was my purpose and hopefully i can continue helping kids be the best versions of themselves so i'm very happy being a teacher okay thank you okay i'm here with kamora kamora what what career are you going for after high school and why um, I want to be an anesthesiologist because they make that bank and, <laughs> and because it looks cool and I love watching Grey's Anatomy and seeing them <laughs> perform it. So, yeah. Okay, thank you. has a brand new school resource officer and although he is new to the school he is a familiar face for most of our student body that's because officer Harvey comes to us from the Red Bank Middle School Jay Watkins caught up with our new SRO and files this report new SRO Deputy Ricky Harvey uh, how are you uh, liking Red Bank so far I love it I mean I spent the last three years at the middle school so I know a lot of the kids here and I'm really happy to be at the high school I'm getting to know y'all and the seniors that I didn't get to deal with the first couple of years, but I enjoy it so far. Uh, how do you like? How do you feel about like the little COVID plan and how we're going around the school, like the A days and the B days? It's different. I mean, I'd like to have all the kids in the building because it's a different atmosphere when you have everybody together. But right now, it's safe. This is the safest way to do it. So, thank you for that. Right. Thanks, man. 
for most teenagers, having the right clothes is important, and we've got all our favorite stores where we like to shop. But our Natalie Phillips gets a lot of her clothes from a different kind of store. She loves to shop at thrift stores. Natalie saves a lot of money and won't believe all the stuff that she found. Strawberries, cherries, and an angel's kiss in spring. My summer wine is really made from all these things. Stores are a huge part of any community. They help recycle items that may have been thrown away, they provide materials for those in need, and they provide opportunities to seek out unique and interesting buys. Shopping sustainable is not only good for the environment, but it is also fun and cheap. That is why I and so many others have chosen to shop primarily from thrift stores. Some tips I have for thrifting are look thoroughly through every section, as the best things are often mixed up or hidden. Set a goal for what you would like to find before entering the store, but don't shy away from things you may not have originally set out for. Explore the furniture and household items for sustainable gifts and decor. Also keep in mind that other people in the community may be relying on at your local thrift stores and never take more than what is useful to you. And lastly, donate back to your local thrift stores to help keep businesses and your community in good shape. A few of my favorite nearby thrift stores are Goodwill and Hickson, America's Thrift, Northside Neighborhood, Collective Clothing, and the Red Bank Thrift Store. Red Bank has a brand new sports team forming, and you don't have to be a great athlete to play, but you do have to be a gamer. It's our new eSports team. We caught up with the coach to find out all the details. All right, I'm here with Mr. Griffin, and I'm going to interview him about the eSports team. All right, yes, uh, so to, uh, today, well, as the time of recording this today, uh, we're doing an informational meeting, and then on Thursday is tryouts after school. Uh, we are the four games that we're going to be supporting are Fortnite, League of Legends, Smite, and Rocket League. Um, anything beyond that will not be within the league, but we can try to figure out teams for that as we go along. But uh, yeah, that's what the the league supports right now. So. All right. Thank you. For more information, contact Mr. Griffin. Well, the football team returns to the gridiron tonight in the Lions Den. And we've got the highlights for the volleyball team's postseason matchup versus Signal Mountain. Let's head on over to sports. But I'm always right. So I know how to shoot and I know how to fight. I tell you once, I'll tell you twice. I'm real discreet, like a thief in the night. Look, if I call you babe, you babe for the day or babe for the night. You not my wife, she wanna kill us. So f all night, I wanna f on a die. Give me a f all night. AP, big rocks, in the hood with the realest. The football team is back in action tonight after their second quarantine of the season. On the original schedule, it was supposed to be a bye week, but instead we'll have a makeup game versus McMahon Central. Kickoff is at 7.30 right here in the Lions Den. Let's go, Big Blue. The girls' volleyball team opened postseason play over fall break. Red Bank would travel up the hill to take on Signal Mountain for the district title. Our cameras were there for all the highlights. Here you can see that there was a great save.
like you walking again. They like you walking again. They like you walking again. Uh, they like you walking again. 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 At last, the score was 3-2. Great job, ladies. Although we lost this game, we still have another opportunity. Go Lions! Despite the loss, the Nunders played some of their best ball of the season on this night. Way to go, ladies. The loss meant Red Bank had to play on the road in the next round. They were beaten by an undefeated Livingston team, and that ended their season. But it was still a great year. Great job, Netters. And the girls' soccer team also wrapped up their district tournament over the break. Red Bank opened the tournament by knocking off Howard, 5-0. Then they had to face Hickson. It was a great defensive battle, and at the end of regulation, the game was tied 0-0. Hickson would go on to win in overtime, and that would end the season for the Lady Lions. But it was another solid year for girls' soccer. Great job, Big Blue. That wraps up a busy day in sports. Back to you. Every time you turn on a TV set, it seems there's nothing but bad news. There's COVID-19, racial injustice, and the politicians are constantly fighting. There are a lot of good things going on around the world, but you never hear about it. Until today, we're starting a new feature called Good News. It will be, it will be bringing you a more optimistic viewpoint around the globe. Here now is Sophie Perry with our first installment of Good News. negativity going on in the world, it's always nice to hear some positive news. As the spread of the coronavirus becomes a hazard to the public safety, marginalized groups fall to the wayside as issues like this continue on. In breaking news, a mask wearing Batman has been traveling around the city of Santiago and helping feed the homeless. As we travel across the pond, a five cent tax on plastic bags that was set in place five years ago in England has seen a 95% decrease in the buying of plastic. How wonderful! As we all know, harmful plastics can affect our environment, but do you know what else drastically impacts it? The cutting down of trees. In Costa Rica, they have found a way to slow, stop, and reverse the deforestation of their forests. They have initiated a replanting conservation effort, and finally, across the world, it seems like India has picked up on this tactic as two million people worked in a collaborative effort to plant two million trees in a day's work. I hope that hearing some of this good news can help brighten up your day. Everybody loves a good riddle. That's what our Rosa Zarko was thinking as she hit the hallways to find out just how smart you really are. Roll that tape. Kimora, Kimora, I got a riddle for you. What belongs to you, but other people use it more than you? Your name. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I'm here with Juice. Juice, I have a riddle for you. You ready? Yeah. Okay. What runs around the whole yard without moving? The grass. What? No offense. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'm here with Sarah. Sarah, I got a riddle for you. <laughs> what can you catch but not throw? Um, a cold. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. I'm here with Sophie. Sophie, I got a riddle for you. Ready? Yeah. Okay, what runs around the whole yard without moving? The fence. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I'm here with Miss Garrity. Miss Garrity, I got a riddle for you. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, what belongs to you, but other people use it more than you? I don't know. Hmm. Give me a hint. It's something you use every day. Your brain? <laughs> <laughs> what do they call you? My name. <laughs> Well, I don't have a riddle, but I do have a question. Are we going to get any rain tonight? That's what everyone wants to know. Let's get to the forecast as we head on over to weather. Well, first off, let's talk about the good news. The warm and mild temperatures are going to stay with us at least for the next five days. Today's high temperatures should top out around 82 degrees after a low last night of 62. There will be a possibility of rain today and tomorrow, but it shouldn't be too heavy. There is a chance of rain at tonight's football game, but it will be a light rain if there's any rain at all. The chance of precipitation goes up a little on Saturday. 
We're calling for a 40% chance of rain tomorrow. There may be a few lingering showers on Sunday, but overall, it ought to be a nice day. The long range forecast shows heavier rain heading our way late next week. Have fun at the game. Back to you. Well, that's going to wrap up our show. Thanks for watching. Good luck to the football team tonight. As we leave you, we've got another special video from Special Ed. Our Ed King is an avid skater, and this time he's headed for the skate park. Enjoy the video and have a great weekend.